So how do you use this? <laughs> so basically you design something in the computer using CAD or you know, any, like, programs like SOLIDWORKS or Maya, I guess Maya. You design the product and then you save it as an STL and then you open it up in this program here called Cura. So it'll take the file and slice it and that means uh, we'll just take it apart and put it layer by layer. Mm -hmm. So it'll generate what's called the G code, which are just coordinates that the machine reads and uh, just lays down material bit uh, all the time. So we program it to like uh, give us supports, which are this here. And then, uh, we do the layer height, which is basically the resolution. And put it into the printer and print it for us. Is it kind of empty inside when it's printed? Yes. Okay. So as you can see here, it's kind of hollowed out. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yeah. Okay. Can you do multicolors? Yes, we can. Like in the same, in the same design? Print, yeah. So here, we have one we did a while back, PVNet. Oh, nice. Two colors. Same at the same two. time? Yeah, did it at the oh, same time. Oh, nice. okay. So it came off the printer like this. Oh, mm -hmm. we can do it. So we load up uh, two separate materials, one here and another one over here, mm -hmm. and then it has uh, two print heads. Print heads are these down here where uh, the material comes out of. Mm -hmm. So as the material comes out, it gets laid down in specific areas, and uh, it just switches from color to color. Mm -hmm. How many colors can you do? Uh, pretty much any color or material that we get, we can print out of. Right now we have a whole bin full of different materials and colors. Mm -hmm. So it's not like limited to just two different colors? No, well, we, it can only do two colors at a time. At a time, okay, yeah, that's what I meant. Okay. What do you think they can be used for? Prototyping. Prototyping, okay. Yeah, I, that's mainly what I use for prototyping. Was this built here? Uh, this is, I designed it and, uh, Basically, pretty much every single component here mm -hmm. was 3D printed first before mm. I made it out of aluminum. Cool. So yeah, I, I prototyped all of this prior to uh, actually machining it. Mm -hmm. Machining it is expensive and takes a lot of time. And what does this do right now, for example? So this here is a drivetrain for first robotics. Mm -hmm. uh, there's going to be four of these and each one is going to pivot. Mm -hmm. So it's going to give us a uh, and they're thinking of putting extreme maneuverability. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Good job. Thank you. Like the What it's printing right here are what are called supports. So let's say I want to have a some let's say I want to print uh, something like this sideways. Mm -hmm. Or at this angle. It's gonna struggle when it gets like these points over here because of the way it's printing. So we add those supports mm -hmm. right here. And then, uh, so when it gets to this point here, it has something so that the material lays on top of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's what it's doing right here. And then some of the pieces. Uh, Do you design that or is it already in the program? Uh, the supports? Mm -hmm. We just put in the program, we put in the density. Okay. So right here the density was at 25%. And this one over here is at 20%. So, uh, yeah, we can alter things like that. We can alter, uh, we can just put in straight lines. And right here is what's called the grid. Mm -hmm. So it goes uh, both X and Y uh, coordinates. And uh, if we put in sh just lines, it just does the Y. Is the material different on that than on this one? Yeah, this here is uh, ABS, and this here is PLA. ABS and PLA are the most common used materials in 3D printing. Uh, well, What's the difference? A lot of people like using uh, ABS as supports because it dissolves in acetone. So uh, if I wanted these hollowed out, I would uh, do the face out of PLA and the supports out of ABS and then just dip the entire thing in acetone. That would just dissolve them. But right here we can, uh, we just are leaving them in for simplicity. Mm -hmm. So it kind of gives you like something if you want to mold something, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Very cool. How long does it usually take? Well, for something like this. These prints right here, I'm doing them in uh, really high quality, so it's taking 30 hours. Wow. And can you stop and start it over again? Yeah. Or what do you mean? Like, like if you don't finish it right now, can you just come well, back and finish it? leave it overnight. 
Oh, okay. That's what so I was. So I started it yesterday and it's still green today. Wow. It should be done like later on today. Cool. Very cool.